What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 46 of On Shape. I am so totally sorry um, that I haven't been pushing out content as quickly as I'd like to. However, um, I just kind of really slowed down to push out good content rather than fast content. And so what I'm doing is just hit, taking care of my classroom and some other other things. And then if there's something that comes across my radar, I do have some good ideas down the pipeline. Um, but like I said, I'm going to do my best to push out good content rather than fast content. And a, a teacher actually emailed me today and said, hey, I don't know why I can't make this part. And um, this is the picture that they sent me. Was I can't make this part. I'm running into an error with this corner. And I was like, okay, well, can I make the part? And I figured out what the problem they're running into. It's called the knife's edge paradox. Um, or at least that's the way I found out with a couple of online CAD forums of this is the problem you're running into. So this is my way to get around it. So I'm going to actually just create this part from scratch like I would uh, pretending to be a student or even a teacher. What I'm going to do is um, go ahead and um, start a sketch on this top plane. Right click, hit view normal 2. We're just going to go ahead and draw this shape overall. Now a couple of teachers have uh, reached out to me and said, hey, did you know you could do this? And um, I'm not going to go too privy or too far into shortcuts um, just because uh, if a student sees this video but another video and, and so I'll make sure that anybody at any stage is welcome to follow along. Okay, so I just said that and then I use a shortcut. So we hit D for dimension. We're going to go ahead and dimension this side length to be uh, one inch. And then keep hitting dimension. And we're just going to work our way around this cube. Uh, that's half an inch. You know, 0 0.5 inches. And 0 0.5 inches. Okay. All right. Looks good. We got the first base of our cube done. We're going to extrude this up half an inch. Now I've got that first bottom layer done, that little L shape. I'm going to go ahead and do this next top piece. But I'm going to do it in the way that I imagine a student who's kind of been in on shape for maybe a few months might build this piece. And so what they'll do is, you know, we're going to hide all planes. We're going to hit sketch. We're going to start on this top piece. I'm going to draw a line because I was listening to Mr. Williams and said, you know what? I know how to do this piece. I feel confident. I drew my rectangle on top. I'm going to hit extrude. And, oh no. What is going on here? I'm like, well, maybe it has to do with a merge. And so if I click merge with all and I click the part that we want to merge with, and doesn't work. Okay. Um, well, what happens if I click on new? Well, this problem actually is solved by um, clicking new. And so you could just say, well, I'm done here and um, it's we're going to make this a new. Oh, let's go back real quick. Extrude. We're going to make this a new piece rather than correctly making it. And you know what? I'm done. Well, I don't like that because the piece we're making is this piece right here. It's all together. It's one piece. So how do we fix it? Well, uh, what we're going to do, here we go, here's the part. Got a little mixed up there. There we go. Um, how do we fix this? So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete this extrusion and I'm going to, actually, let's go back real quick. Why is this the case? Why can't I keep this as an ad? And this is because uh, of what's talked about as the knife's edge paradox. Here's essentially what's happening, is that I'm trying to tell two 3D geometries of the same part to overlap. And so here's what I mean by that. This back line that intersects these two cubes are overlapping. And so I'm trying to tell Onshape, which is a computer, to store two pieces of data of the same part in the same space. And it's saying, we don't like it, do something about it. So we're going to do something about it. So I'm going to click on X here. I'm going to go ahead and delete that extrusion. 
and we're going to build this part in a way where on shape is okay with it. So I'm going to hit view normal too. Let's go ahead and hit trim. I'm actually going to just going to delete this part, that part, and that part. And when I draw this line, I'm not going to let that automatic geometric constraint get thrown in. We're just going to draw the line a little short. And we're going to do that for both sides. And we're going to dimension these lines to be about as close to half an inch as, we, as we'd like. So if we did a half an inch, it didn't work. So what happens if I do a thousandth of an inch less? Well, Onshape stores that value, and if we zoom in really, really close, there's still a gap there. So we're talking about a thousandth of an inch. We're doing the same thing, 0 0.499. It's a thousandth of an inch. Now I'm going to connect these two pieces. Okay. 499, 499, hit the green check mark. Well, now let's extrude this part. And voila, we now work. Hit the green check mark, and we now have one piece that looks like the part we were trying to make. As a nod off to this teacher, it was supposed to be a purple piece, so I'm actually going to go ahead and right click and let's uh, edit the appearance. Let's make it a nice purple shade. Hit the green check mark, and we are done. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. There is our purple puzzle piece. This was a really fun part to figure out and troubleshoot. Um, as usual, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, blow them up in my comment section. You guys do an awesome job in reaching out when you do need help. Um, until then, I will see you guys on the next video, uh, which could be tomorrow, could be a week, um, but I'm waiting to, to produce good content rather than fast content. As always, this is tons of fun, uh, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Take care.